transform your hair with hair growth products by 12 tribes on earth. Experience natural, powerful ingredients that promote thicker, longer, and healthier hair. Say goodbye to thinning and hello to confidence. Hair growth oil, shampoo, spray, and butter by 12 tribes on earth because your hair deserves the best. Just look for the links in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, the Venezuelan president is making it very, very clear. He sees all the stuff going on here and all the crimes that are being committed. You know, some of them have committed murders, grapes. Some of them, you know, have done burglaries and all kinds of shoplifting and illegal things, you know. And he's making it very clear. You can't send none back. He will not accept any flights with these people on it. He won't take them. And he stopped accepting flights back in January. And he is standing firm on that. So recently, you know, there have been a couple of different murders. There was one in Texas, a 12-year-old girl, and she was um, killed by two Venezuelan illegal immigrants in Houston. And Maduro is not accepting flights, even if they commit crimes here in the U.S. Mm-mm. He said he is blocking all flights of any attempts to deport people. So these two illegals from Venezuela, Johan Jose Rangel Martinez, 21, and Franklin Jose Pina Ramos, 26, face capital murder charges. So they are accused of luring a 12-year-old under a bridge tying her up and oh man and they graped her and she uh, and then they threw her in the river so ice spokesperson said last week both men are in the country illegally martinez was apprehended by border patrol in march and pena was apprehended in may they both were released on an order. Uh, wow. They released them. Their arrival uh, came after Venezuela in January stopped accepting deportation flights from the U.S. and Mexico. The regime had started accepting returns of their migrants who numbers come to the U.S. borders have spiked since October of 2023. And they said, you know, it stopped deportation flights in February after the U.S. reimposed economic sanctions that it had previously lifted. Only about 1,800 had been deported on flights up to that point. The Biden administration officials told reporters weeks earlier that they wanted to increase the number of flights to Venezuela, saying um, we do have the intention of ramping up deportation flights to Venezuela, and the administration sees it as a critical part of the broader immigration strategy. So Maduro is saying he don't care what these people are doing in the U.S., he will not take them back. They cannot come back. So the U.S. is still unable to return a limited number of Venezuelans to Mexico as part of an agreement secured last year. Mexico recently reportedly won promises from Venezuela that it could deport illegal immigrants back to Venezuela but the U.S. flights are still on hold. Mm -mm -mm. 
Overall, Venezuelan numbers have dropped since the highs of last year. According to Customs, Border and Protection, there were a little over 17,000 encounters of Venezuelans at the southern border in May compared to 57,847 in December. But the U.S. has faced continued issues related to Venezuelan migrants. Last week, a Venezuelan illegal immigrant was accused of shooting two NYPD officers in Queen, was arraigned on attempted murder and other charges. A Venezuelan migrant was charged earlier this year with the violent murder of a Georgia nursing student. Y'all remember Lake and Riley? Yes. Officials and lawmakers have repeatedly sounded the alarm about uh, violent street gangs emerging from Venezuela that have seen increase and increased presence in the U.S. So, hey, you know, even if you're aware of it and the feds are aware of it, you can't get them out of here because their home country don't even want them. So federal authorities have warned that the gang is trying to establish itself in the U.S. where police are already linking to uh, linking it to organized crime. The FBI has also warned that the gang could team up with uh, MS-13. So Border Patrol recently announced the apprehension of 10 illegal migrants with gang ties. And they know this from tattoos that they have. Wow. You know, even if you stop some of them at the border, you're definitely, there's no way you're going to get all of these gang members coming in here. It's no way, you know. And let me show you. They're saying these tattoos are identifiers. Mm. Let me see if I can show this to you. So they're saying these are the identifying um, tattoos that they look for. But at the end of the day, y'all, they can't get all of these people at the border. There are probably so many of them in here now. It's not even funny. And some of them probably been here for years. You know, this is what happens when you open the border and you don't care who comes through. And Maduro probably look at it like this. He got rid of his headache. He don't want them back. And he's doing everything he can to block the U.S., regardless to what crimes they commit here. He's blocking the U.S. from sending these people back. And they can't even send them to Mexico either. So the U.S. really, what choice do they have? They're going to have to jail these people. But they act like they don't even want to do that. So please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.